And the heyday of Tyson, the question was uh, not if he's going to win, but at, in what round he was going to finish his opponent off. Uh, some of them got a couple of seconds. He was so awesome. But over his career, I understand that he earned about $200 million. And today, or sometime in the past, he was broke. And the question is that everybody, you know, trumping on him and jumping up and saying, oh, these athletes, they're broke after a little bit of the career and whatever. Uh, the question is not um, how he got broke, is who earned the money? Now, um, when you're black and you earn a whole bunch of money, there are people that slide up and they, 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 they're demanding that you buy stuff from them. You have to buy stuff from them. If you don't, maybe the cops can get you. Maybe you get shot in the street. There are a whole bunch of um, threats they bring on to you. And perhaps um, Tyson was having fun, I guess, with whatever too. But uh, there are people out there that need to get that money. That's how they're going to get rich in coming off you some stuff. Um, some people buy real estate. Others buy horses. Get into all kinds of fantasies and so on. Those are people, you know, setting them up to take the money. And so um, the question is, and I have said it before, that athletes should be protected. The government should have a law that these athletes should have money in reserve and whoever is responsible for them should make sure that they don't spend all the money because um, they have a whole life to live and their money should last them until the end of their time. Uh, I mean, 200 million is a lot, that's quarter, uh, a fifth of a, tri um, a, a billion dollars. And he might be the first athlete to have earned so many uh, millions and I think that he shouldn't have gone broke. Um, there should have been a law and somebody should have been objectively looking after the money make sure that at least uh, a certain amount for say he was 20 for the next 50 years should be there because uh, give him 70 years if he dies early well uh, the money could go to charity but or to his family there's no way these athletes should get broke like this so I, I, in a way it reflects on him but generally it reflects on the avarice of some people who um, you know want to get your money I recall I had a business and um, I'd earned, you know, some good money, and uh, a whole bunch of che a whole uh, set of checks had passed through my account. So the bank seemed to give word to somebody, or they look up records. I don't know how they got to know it, but I started receiving uh, offers in the mail. I have a hot stock tip, and I'm saying that these people aren't for real. They are going to come to me when they have a very, very viable proposition or proposal. They will get all the money they could get illegal whatever means loans whatever they're going to do they're going to buy it up for themselves but when they invited me to join is that it's you know it might grow a couple of dollars here but then bottom line is they're going to churn out the count and they're going to make as many dollars as they can so when you're black and you make a whole bunch of money you have a whole bunch of tribulations and trials going on uh they even get the cops involved you could get arrested you could get killed you could get all they, they're going to take your money so um, it's unfortunate Tyson lost all his money, but you can't blame him much. You got to blame people who are greedy. And if you think this is a joke, there was a, a young man who went to the Olympics in the 70s. And he, he, I think he was the best boxer ever in the Olympics. And they asked him, say, uh, which camp are you going to join when you go professional? He says his father is going to be his manager. And you never heard of this guy no more. He never made any money. He just went out to history. And so uh, the question is, um, he had to join one of the, the, the groups out there. I mean, when a guy is the undisputed champion, did he fight everybody who was legit and who could beat him? Not really. Uh, it was, you know, choreographed carefully to get him in, in the money making. And they make the money, they rob him as much as they can. But anytime you're smart and you're going to try to manage your money, you're not going to get anywhere. So it's a double-edged sword. Uh, it, it shouldn't happen like that.